Hello! Today I am doing a post-completion review of Turning of the Seasons by Denise Dundun and it is by Diamond Art Club and oh my god I am so excited. First my name is Marissa. I make a variety of diamond art content. If that interests you consider liking and subscribing please. I wanted to record this after my whip a few days ago but my hand hurt and I decided to take my own advice and take it easy and let my hand rest. I had to get it out of that little cast thing. Um, a couple days ago, the bruising was really dark. It might be too bright right now on camera, but it was like a line straight down the middle. And now it's just right here and right here. And then if I bend my knuckle, you can kind of see all of the bruising through there. But yeah, fun times. I just wanted to get my gross finger out of the way. Let's get into my book. I miss the old sticker. Let's see, I have it on this one. It used to be this big and I miss that so much. And now it's tiny and all separate, but that's fine. So this is Turning of the Seasons. I started it July 29th and finished it on August 24th. So that means it took three weeks and five days. It has 77,361 drills. These are all the drills left over. I didn't think I was going to run out of any. I mean, that's pretty standard for Diamond Art Club. The quality is always really good. They always send extra drills. Now, when it comes to this color, which is the 666, I mistakenly put a bunch of drills down on the wrong symbol because I was not paying attention. So, I scraped them off and I put the drills inside a separate container because I have learned that if you pull drills off of a canvas, glue tends to stick on the drills anyways and it'll cause them all to clump up and it is just, it sucks when it mixes with all of the other drills that don't have glue on them and you end up with a clunky gunky mess. So these, as you can see, are not going anywhere. I can't, still can't fully bend my finger. This is awkward. Sorry. Um, but yes, so that's why I have this. These drills I will not keep because they have glue on them. Um, let me show you how much actual trash that I had, which it, I feel like it's more than I normally would have, or I'm just getting more particular, or maybe it's because it's a bigger canvas. I don't know. But I do feel like I had more. I did spill the trash drill thing itself a couple of times, but this is also my spill. I barely spilled anything. I am getting so much better at keeping my drills where they belong. Um, I used to spill so much more. So that's my spill. And then this is my trash. My chair is so squeaky. And this is my trash. So I feel like it's more than I've previously had before, or I'm just becoming more particular. But these ones had tabs on the side of them, bubbles on them, or dye on them, wrong shape. But once again, it's still very minimal. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. This keeps falling out really easily. Let me show you some of my favorite colors from the canvas which was, of course, the ABs. I have to say, I think the white ABs are some of my favorite. I don't know, just something about them is just stunning. Oh, so pretty. I, the white ABs, I don't know, they just did it. The orange ABs were pretty. The pink ABs, I don't think, I really liked the pink ABs, honestly. I think the coating just takes away from the color. Like you can see the bottom and then the top comparison here. They're just so different. I actually don't think I liked these. Like there, there's nothing wrong with them. I can see why so many people would like them, but I was kind of surprised. I wish there was a little bit less of a coating or the coating was more of a pinker tone, but it didn't do that with the, um, with these orange ones, like the orange, you can tell it's still orange with the coating on them. It didn't take away from the color or change it so much that there's such a drastic 
difference. Like you can see the pink ABs right here, right? Like that's a lot, right? I don't know. And then we also have this green AB. You can see the coating on them, but it doesn't detract or take away from the actual color. And out of all of these, the white ABs and I think the green ABs were my favorite. Something about green ABs, they're just stunning. Now for the regular colors, oh my goodness, this orange just got me. It's freaking stunning. This is nine, uh, 947. Oh, so pretty. Such a pretty orange. It's like kind of like a, a deeper, darker orange that went great with the other colors. I think the oranges and then the purples. The purples were freaking. Can I choose a single purple? No. Uh, I'm not going to attempt it. Um, I'm going to say all of the purples I absolutely freaking love on this canvas. Now this regular pink, which I think is close to what is right here. This, this, once again, this AB was a little bit darker, but just by itself, this like purple pink color would have to be my other favorite. Cause it's not a purple, it's not a pink. It's like a perfect in between. I'm trying to do this without bending my finger and I feel like I just look ridiculous, but I needed a break from that thing. Now I wanna show you my favorite parts of working on this canvas, and man, do I have a couple. Okay, for starters, the trees, the purple trees especially, was one of my favorite parts. I did learn working with ABs, which there's a ton right here. I don't know if you can see. Let me bring it down maybe. You can kind of see some of the ABs right here. There was color blocking with ABs all through here, where there's this light pinkish tint right here. That was a bitch to do. That kind of sucked. I have learned multi-placing and just working with ABs in general sucks. Oh, that was not fun. It is stunning and I actually really enjoyed all of the placement of the ABs in this canvas, which I was a little nervous about, but I think that it enhances the photo a lot. There was four ABs with this one, but doing these trees and seeing the purples, like I said, the purples were some of my favorite colors in this whole canvas. So this part I took my time doing because, oh my God, I loved it. Now for my second favorite part of working on this canvas would have to be the line blocking. And I do have to be honest, I didn't do this bottom part all by myself. Um, when I had first injured my finger, I tried to do it and it hurt too much. So my daughter was like, hey, I wanna do it with you. So I would work for a little bit and then she would work for a little bit. And I think that makes me adore this picture so much more because I can't really tell what she did versus what I did. She did such a good job that, I don't know, it was like a perfect little bonding moment. We've worked together a lot more on my We Are Sun canvas. Um, she just kind of helped me finish this one and it was just a beautiful moment between mother and daughter, honestly. And she said that she likes line blocking and I've discovered I loved the line blocking. It was so much fun and I didn't have to change out quite as often where there was more confetti, which was like kind of through here or and like right here. But it was just fun, easy to do. I'm kind of glad I didn't do from bottom to top because with my injured hand, it would have been more difficult to work with the ABs and do that with an injured hand. Now, speaking of ABs, I didn't really like the pink ABs. Um, I feel like they just don't, hmm. I like the placement of them, but I wish the coating wasn't such a drastic change from the original color. Like, I feel like this is just a little ridiculous. 
So thinking back on it now, I probably, if I wasn't too scared to do enhancements or changes to canvases, I probably would have skipped out on these pink ABs. The orange ABs though, like look, they don't, it does, it's not a different color. It, it's, it works out. You can tell it's an AB, you can tell it's an orange, but it doesn't take away. My favorite ABs are these pink, these white ones, cause it has like that pinkish tint to it, but it doesn't fully take away from what it's trying to do. So that is my only complaint is I don't like the pink ABs. I don't think that the color was a good match or maybe there's just too much coating on them. But even no matter what lighting, normally it's kind of hard to show ABs. And these, it doesn't matter how dark it is, what angle it is, it just, I don't know. I don't like it, but this one is going in the portfolio. Regular lighting, it looks great, but too much sunlight, you can't even tell it's supposed to be a pink. It just looks like a silver blue coating, and I don't think I like that. Other than that, I have no complaints. I loved the amount of confetti versus color blocking and line blocking it was. There's so many different areas to do with different types, like the confetti through here, color blocking up here, line blocking down here, and just the way that it was rendered and the detail is just immaculate to me. The hand rendering team for um, DAC did so good with this. And I was kind of nervous at first because I was like, oh no, I'm not used to this much confetti because as you know, I've been working on a lot of um, color blocking. Like I did Nightbringer, which was a ton of light color blocking and all of that. But I just cannot get over how stunning this picture is. Just everything about it. Um, I love these muted colors right here that they've kind of added in. Something about dusky, dusty, muted tones get me. So it's not only just like the purples and the ABs, but individually the colors don't look like much. But if you look at like the rocks right here and the lines right here, I love that transitional like landscapey, colorful to these muted colors back into like the rainbow reflection. I love the way that that was done and charted and especially the colors chosen because it's such a contrast. So those are the things that I love. This will be the first picture I actually cut the edges off and I'm going to put it in the portfolio. I am going to wait to cut it until I can use my hand a little bit better because like the scissor thing, where you go, I can't cut with my left hand. This would, I wouldn't be able to do it with this hand. I'd have to use scissors with this hand. I have to wait, so I'm just going to roll it, put it in its box for now, and then I will be putting it in my portfolio. I am so glad Art Dot sent me that. Go watch that video if you haven't yet. I love that thing so much. But with what I went through with the ABs on this one and trying to color block with it, I think this just makes it more enticing for me to try that Joy's Putty. I wanna try her putty so bad because if it does work with ABs the way that it's saying, then this wouldn't have been so difficult to do for like the color blocking with the ABs. But yes, just look at it. I keep sliding it back and forth because oh my God, I love it so much. All right, so I will take some pictures and put it up with some music right now. Welcome back. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Now that you know my thoughts, if it comes back in stock, will you get it? Do you already own it? Have you done this one before? 
let me know down below. I am going to do my shameless plug now. I have a series of the benefits of diamond painting or having a hobby like this, and I wanna help share your story of why it's not just diamond painting. There are true benefits to having a hobby like this, and I just wanna help spread the word and tell your story. I can 100% keep you anonymous, my email is diamondsandthoughts at gmail.com and in the subject line, just put benefits dash whether you wanna be anonymous or not. I do have one video of that up already and I am loving doing that. If you like this content, consider liking and subscribing and I will see you on the next video. Have a good day, bye.